Miss Tessa. Happy Flossmas Day 15. It's December 15th. I can't believe it's already the 15th. It's halfway through the month already. That's insane. Um, I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> Why does December always go by so fast? It's like I have a million things to do before next week and next week is next week. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day, and uh, maybe some of you will be sleeping in tomorrow because snow day. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like a free day off. <laughs> uh, any of your te any teachers out there, I know you know. <laughs> There's no excitement like teacher on a snow day excitement. Not that I'm planning to do a whole lot. I'm going to relax and hang out with my kids and hopefully stitch something, but uh, it's still exciting. Uh, today was pretty well. It went pretty well. Uh, we ordered dinner out, so that was nice. We got a steak from the steakhouse and had it delivered. Well, my husband went and got it, but I didn't have to cook, so <laughs> I'm happy. And school went fine. It was just a regular old Tuesday. So last night, I know I said I was going to work on all these projects and I did. I worked on one. I put a new one on my Q-snap and got a few stitches in and um, I'll show you that in a second. Did not start anything new. <laughs> I still really want to though. Um, let's look at the crochet first because I have that in front of me. I did two things this morning. I added the fluffy trim to this green um, cozy that I had made already. So he's pretty cute. I wish that like, I didn't, I didn't add the trim until after the fact, but it would have looked nicer with one more round of green, I think. So um, next time I'll try to make it a little bit taller before I add the fluff. Um, and then I finished up this one that I had started yesterday in that creamy, um, with the brown and green speckles and I'm planning to put him on there. So kind of a basic cozy color, kind of a Yoda color or baby Grogo. Uh, but he looks awfully cute there with this little, little carrier. <laughs> so I'll probably stitch that on tomorrow. Um, and then I started one more. I had a leg in my day, so I started one more and it's just that, um, I don't know, I call it Gryffindor red. It's not, but <laughs> it's like the perfect color for my Harry Potter mug. And that's what I'm going to put on here. I'm going to put another one of these guys on there. So, um, and this one I'm keeping for myself. I gave the other two away to my friend. I think she liked them, so... That's what I'm going to make. Um, I had to change knitting or not knitting crochet needles or crochet hooks, I guess. Um, I was using this H five millimeter um, hook, which I love. I love these ones with the rubber thing. They're just pretty substantial. My hand feels really good using these. And then I didn't have one. I just wanted it to be a size smaller because the stitches were so big with that red um, yarn. The red yarn theme, it seems a little thinner. So I've been stitching with this guy, which is bendy and cheapo. I'm sure I didn't pay much for it. I got it in a kit when I first started. <laughs> but man, you can really tell the difference. <laughs> nice, terrible. So if you're just starting out with crochet, go ahead and splurge on those nice grippy ones because they're worth it. I think everybody kind of has their favorite hook. So those ones are definitely mine. And now I think I'll have to splurge on one. What size is this little one? A G? Yeah, it was just one size smaller, a G. So that's on my list. Next time I go, hit the Joann's. So the stitching project I grabbed to work on today and last night a little bit was Prairie Schoolers. Happy Christmas. And I think I showed you guys this, was it? I think I showed it yesterday. 
so you guys saw where I was. I got a little progress on it. So you can see I got some snowflakes in. I got the big one here. Um, oh, I guess that was it. And I got a big chunk of the roof in. And then I just started the border here. I had like a, a stray strand. I didn't know where I was going. So that's where I, it ended up going. <laughs> Um, my goal is to do the white and then I think I'll probably put the tree in. Um, that's my next step. So looking forward to some stitching on this guy in the future. Maybe tomorrow during my snow day. I have a plan. I want to sit upstairs and the tree is lit. It looks really pretty and then it's warm up there. So my plan is just to sit and stitch for a good hour or two. Um, I'm going to get up early, I think. So my husband will be at work. Well, in the next room at work. And my kids will be sleeping probably still. <laughs> so I'm going to get all the stitching done in the morning. That's my plan. On my other things to do. Did I bring that down? No, I have it upstairs. Um, but I want to work on a couple finishing things. So I downloaded this template from Hands On Design and it's for the flamingos, but I'm going to use it as a guide to, um, to cut the, um, the snow globe kind of thing I had planned. Remember I talked about that? Maybe you don't, maybe you didn't watch that video. It's okay, you'll see it coming. <laughs> but I think that this size is a good size for that. And I could just make it just a tiny bit shorter so that I can put like a wooden, it's faux wood, it's um, like scrapbook paper, wooden um, base along the bottom. So I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. At least kind of figure out my sizing, maybe cut the chipboard um, or mat board out that I'm gonna use and then I, all I'll have to do is actually like stitch it up and sew it together. So one step at a time, <laughs> but I'm going to try to do that. I think, um, tomorrow. So that'll be fun to figure out. Um, what else? I think my, my little felties, I saw that they had shipped, so they are on their way. Um, so I can make more little cozies again. I, I can't remember how many I bought. So I'm a little worried <laughs> that I've bought like 20 of them, um, but that's okay. <laughs> it would be quite a surprise though. And one thing I am still toying about is starting that little Mill Hill snowflake. <sighs> I want to so bad, but at the same time, I'm like, I want to finish all of my projects. <laughs> so, if I start, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to try not to, though. I decided uh, at least until winter break. So we'll see how this week goes. And maybe that will be my reward for working hard on my projects this week. Um, I was also looking at the Magical Stitches homework, trying to figure out what I could fit in. And I got that snow done already. Um, so I am going to count that. I think I had... I think there was three assignments this week. So um, one, we had to stitch on something that you could tell time with. Um, so a sun or, I don't know, a clock. I have no clue. You could talk about how long you stitched on it. I, I could weasel that into just about any project I work on. So I have to do 300 stitches for time. 300 stitches for either tree or house, which I think is what I'm going to use the um, Happy Christmas for because it has houses and trees. And then stitch on something that makes you happy. Anything. <laughs> that can be any project at all. So I think that I could probably make all three of these work pretty easily this week. And I'll probably look for higher numbers because... I can actually write everything down this week, which is kind of nice. I don't know why I like to count my stitches and um, make it feel like it counted for something, but I do. I stitched on Joy the Joy Truck last week and I counted all my stitches, so I still have to put that towards one of the challenges too. I should do that tonight probably. So that's on my list. Um, 
other than the excitement of a snow day, guys, that's pretty much all that's going on here. <laughs> okay, the excitement of a snow day is all that's going on, but it's the best, so I'm okay with it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your day, and if you get snow, I hope you get a lot so that you can have fun and enjoy the beauty of it. <laughs> and I will check in again tomorrow. Bye!